Okay, I'm going to do a, a video about, sort of about impact and also about why I don't think so much about impact. So, um, I think if you get, you know, every, we've all heard the thing, all that matters is impact, which is, I'm right here. It has to be this way, and if I have an impact like that, well, maybe if you're moving through the ball in the right way, if you're still accelerating, if you're, you know, doing a lot of things. So... That's sort of half truth, I think. What's really, and that's, I put this line on here. And so, what's important about the position, really, is that you're still moving the release through the ball. So you're not releasing at the ball, which gets you that condition, but you're releasing through the ball, which looks like that. So, if you have an e-bell, I just got some electrical tape. And I, I like this, I've done this line and I've done some other lines, but I didn't want to put lines on my product because I want them to also be, you can use them as a feeling of a, an entire unencumbered plane kind of. So a line gives you a fixed reference. But in this case, we're gonna think of that line as where impact, where the release starts. Let's call it the release. Where the release of the club starts. So get yourself there. And you want to feel like you can move this without having to pull up on the back handle. So it's not that you're pulling, holding the club this way and moving. It's really that you're keeping this hand going enough that that's where you get to. So it still should feel like it doesn't go into the right hand until you're out here. But if you're looking down through the ball, you want to be there and then release through. So there, and release, through, release. Feel it out there, it's like you're doing a little toss. Tossing it out there, just doing a little toss out there. And then we take our club, and now it's the same feeling. You feel where that is, that's the beginning. And then you're throwing it out there. So that's the beginning, and you're throwing it out there. So now move through the ball with that same feeling. It's a different feeling for a lot of people because the, I don't know if you want to call it the intuitive or instinctive thing to do is go at the ball. But golf is actually, uh, it's not a hitting game so much as a target game. So the difference being anything that you do, if you throw darts, you're moving through. In order to be accurate for the target, you have to have a motion that moves through something. So similarly with golf, your motion is moving through the ball and releasing it out there at the target. So I'll do one more. You can see it looks a little different, feels different. If you're used to releasing at the ball, it's going to feel very different at first and a little bit out of control, but you just really have to stay with it. And if you go back and forth, it's not a hard feeling to get with the trainer. So you just imagine picking it up there, releasing it there. Pick it up there, release it there. Just like that. And then back to your club. And the thing to do is not try to force the change, but rather to notice how it's different. So then you go... I go to hit it now, and I say, okay, I'm going to do the same thing, and then I think, oh, no, that wasn't the same. What, what happened? I, that, I released right at the ball there. So then maybe you move it a little bit now, and maybe you get a little closer to, okay, that release was just, I felt that was a little bit later, but I still felt something. And now go back to the trainer, go back to your club, and then can I go all the way through it and release way out here? So... That's my feeling, releasing way out there, and that's where you want to get to.